Well, it's back to the bluff for Southern University students as they end up wrapping up the first full day of classes for the fall semester. Now, we all know that the fall semester here on campus is not going to look like anything anyone has ever seen. All of this is happening while university leaders try to put a stop to any potential COVID-19 clusters on campus. Are now a part of the new normal at Southern University. Freshman Amina Mitchell says it makes her feel safe. And not just letting anyone or whoever come through if they want to. Students, faculty, and staff returning to campus for the first day of classes on Wednesday were checked at any one of the three campus entrances. And I like the process and it makes me feel better knowing that, that she's in a safe environment. University staff say they have been planning for this day for weeks to make sure campus is safe during the coronavirus pandemic. Students are required to wear face masks. PPE is provided to employees and students. There are social distancing markers and increased sanitation stations. But I do want them to feel comfortable when they are returning back into this space because students are understanding the severity of this issue. That's why students have the choice of traditional learning, hybrid or online. Also different this fall, no football. The SWAC delayed the sport until the spring, and dorm rooms have a PVC pipe covered with a cloth-like material as a divider. There is also a space on campus for students who may test positive for COVID-19. Oh, and we will have individuals come and see about them. Uh, additionally, they will still be provided opportunities, particularly meals, ensuring that students are still provided meals and also their instruction 100% online. With all the changes and new safety precautions, Mitchell is ready to start learning on the bluff. Because I know that they're taking initiative to keep make sure everyone's safety is important. Something else that's also going to be different this semester is any student who's living on campus will have to move out of their dorm before the Thanksgiving break and classes after that will all be virtual.